my character is an absolute genius at conjuration and I want the conjuration, con conjuration skill to go twice as fast but my character is the clumsiest person ever and the armor skill is going to level up three times as slow so that's something you could do for you know for role playing that's how I would use it but then you can say from level to zero you're going to level up three times as fast from level 10 to 20 you're going to level up twice as fast from level 20 to 30 you level up normally level 40 you, tr you level up twice as slow and you can you can really customize your progression and that's just brilliant uh, it works beautifully okay I had the fairy dust I can do that Dwemer Grease, Grave Dust, I, shall, I don't have any of that Ample Pode, uh oh that's good Vicious Glue, sorry I'm back to taking notes for the Vicious Glue we want Ample Pode plenty of those Hakalo reasonably easy to find Scrape Jelly can do oh so it's not sorry uh, on Saturday you know we tried progressive progression dynamic difficulty changes the difficulty slider ow oh, seriously but that's brilliant that's what I do okay I'm gonna have thank you prof for sorry I, I was completely wrong I thought you were referring to the one he released last week so old news that's brilliant because that's exactly what I do for my permadeath oh nice let me finish writing that script jelly spore pod and wick wheat now that's something I might be able to do quite soon ah. let me try that You can go back in there, thank you. And contingency, I don't think my skill has improved. Yes, the only one I have is exhaustion. Nothing. You can go back in there, thank you. That is very, very cool. Nice. Mm -mm. Definitely going to have to use that. For some reason, for some reason, these didn't get sorted. Stash all. Thank you very much. <sighs> much lighter. Do I have a place to put the soul gems? Huh? Huh? I wonder. I think I saw gems. It's not not quite not quite what I wanted. I'll put them with the magic stuff. You found a dryad race mod for Morrowind. Yeah, it's a classic. Uh, there's also a whole collection of dresses for it. And I believe there might be dresses with wings as well. Um, that being said, because I've, I'm playing a dryad in Oblivion, I'm not super eager to play a dryad in, uh, in Morrowind. But the day might come. The day might come. That being said, there are other race mods that I do prefer to that one. In particular, ee -hee, jackpot, nice. In particular, um, Wesley's race mods, I just just love them ah alchemical transmutator yes that is good because I can retrieve ingredients from there might uh, might have to switch around <coughs> might have to okay Browse. Let's see. 
Ample pod, we have some Hakalo being too far. Hakalo, we have some scrib jelly. Scrib jelly, we have some spore pod. We have some wick wheat. Willow Antha, wick wheat. Yes, let's try to make some vicious slime, I think. You will need a playable Spriggan mod. You love them except for their hair. Too anime. The Spriggan? The Spriggan with the... Oh! Wesley's race mod. Um, yeah, some of the hair, I agree, they're, they're a bit too anime. But you don't have to use those. Actually, yes, you do. The vanilla is not included. All right, let's try this. Wick wheat. Wheat wheat, spore pod, scrib jelly, hackalo, and ample pod. Okay. Now, how do we use that? Let's quick save. Because that's some heavily scripted stuff. Do I just put it there? No. Do I just place it on the table and then activate it yes silence calm lock soul trap is that because these are the only spells I can make in that case that would be a shame because I don't have the ingredients for that suffer from the same issue some other hairs suffer from as well it is. I mean, MCA, for example, I do prefer Starfire's NPCs to MCA because MCA, they can get a little too... The NPCs, they sort of stand out a little too much. But, most much like textures, I like to switch between them. So, my game looks different every time. Okay, I'm going to try to put the ingredients and see what happens. If anything, I want to save those ingredients for... No potion created. Oh, and I lost all of it. Silence, calm, lock, soul trap. Silence, calm, lock, and soul trap. Let me look at the book again. But I looked at the recipes. That's the only one I can make right now. Cherry bomb, ice bomb, toxic fumes, flash bombs, fairy dust, caustic flame, vicious glue, like soul trap. Uh, nose maker, I'm guessing it's the one that makes silence. So I am guessing that the this is the most difficult bomb to make, going down to this one being the easiest one. Lich dust, voice salt, bone meal, black and hefa fascia. Well, we're not making offensive uh, potions today. We just don't have the ingredients for it. Shame. You were referring to the slowdown issue actually, but that to sound. Oh, there's also the fact that it can hurt your, your FPS, it's true. I know these ingredients I need to save for my bomb, so I don't want to use them for no good reason. I'm gonna save that one. And I really need to... I'm a little uh, annoyed with that because there is this soul gem. And when I kill a creature with that sword, I can soul trap them. Noisemaker is a sound spell. Yes, absolutely. That's, that's what I said a little while ago. We probably typed it before I said it though. Okay, we have a house. We have very little money, but we don't need a lot of it. Where do we go from there? Do we go back to start with Mora and move on with the... Uh, with the Telvanni spells? 
I said silence. Sorry, that's uh, okay. Then I see why I was thinking uh, the sound spell. Let's put my gear that I might want to use later on in here. This I take it with me. This might be for a companion. And this I put it there. Similar effect. Close enough, right? I need to sell those two so I don't use them, you know, by mistake. Resist fire. Focused aura, unarmored, 10 points, da 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 I'm trying to find out how much uh, Restore Magicka I have. There. I have three points of Restore Magicka. Meaning I could apply, say, Illusion. How much would it cost me? Ah, four. So that's no good. For a drain of 4.17 points of magicka per tick, I could have a constant chameleon effect of 10, but I can't afford it, so let's forget about it. I could have a sanctuary effect. How much would that cost me? Still too much. So no, none of that. Mysticism, restoration, alteration. How much would I have to pay for a little shield effect? Hey! For a constant 5 point of shield, I would have a drain of 1.28. So basically, I would just have... I'll go with that. How do I do that? Activate. You open the channel. Yeah, that's good. Uh, I did try it before I have when I had less magicka and basically if you get something that is too powerful your magicka goes to zero and when it reaches zero the effect stops. Thank you for that. Okay. So back to back to my question. What do we do next quest wise? We can go back to start with Mora, see what's up with the, our successful mission. Yeah, we, let's go to Balmora. We have two missions to report. Safritu! Safritu! Looking for the kind lady who will you teleport me. To say to me. Yes, where is the guild guide is what I want to say. She's not here. Lady guild guide. No, she's also Ooh, attending the lecture. Oh, Sorry Could to you bother you, but I need you to take me to Sadrith Mora. And then to Caldera, we have those indexes. Hopefully one of them is the one we need. I believe the one you get from the shop in Caldera is the first one he asks for. The three that I have, there's the one from Caldera shop. There's the one from Deviathir. And there's the one from the Orshalaku wise woman. <laughs> no, no, no. I really like uh, Living Cities of Ardenfell. And... It's realistic. I mean, people just don't stand in one spot on. day in and day out. Dong dong indeed, yes. Uh, you can actually, I think I can talk to the guards. Maybe not these guards. Schedule. Those bells are rather loud. There. 
I don't know if they are completely silent or just not as loud. We'll find out, you know, quite soon. There was a guide for modeling for modeling release on the Lexus. We really need. Uh, do have a look, Fluffy Eggbread. I did have a look at it. Um, um, Rubberman made uh, a nice little tutorial, and uh, you have you have the document that explains, but it also gives you some some of the tools that you need. And um, I haven't tried it myself. In fact, to be completely honest, I was thinking like modeling can't model to save my life but I can modify models like existing models I can stretch them make them bigger smaller change the color stick another note to them that sort of things and um, and I was thinking that really I should you know what I interrupt myself so rude I do know a levitation spell now so let's try it I was thinking I should try uh, I should try to follow the guide and I was actually considering streaming it that way hopefully people who know their stuff they can tell me no 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 Re read that line again you did not understand that because I would like to be able to to do a little more yes uh, no not yes <laughs> sorry <laughs> I was just leaping into the void, quite happy that I successfully cast a spell. Yes, the walls are missing, like the pod is missing, which is a bit annoying. I don't know how that happened. Have you put down the slave rebellion? You say the slave have escaped. Hmm, I suppose I will have to hire someone else to track them down. If you ever have holdings of your own, you'll want to be able to command them forcefully. I can teach you a spell that might help you with this if you want. Yes, teach me to command slaves. Well, I mean command humanoids, right? May your slave be more obedient. I'll use it on you someday. You'll see how that feels. Promotion? Mm -mm, I must find a patron. Who could be my praetor? Unwise choice for a patron. Fair enough, I won't ask her. Anything else? I do not have any chores for you. Speak with the other mouth if you need chores, or you could speak to Mistress Therana again. Not yet. I can use it to free slaves, like I force them to follow me. And... I'm gonna... Sh I'm gonna... Ugh, of course I'm not levitating anymore. Uh, what did you want? Yes, but you don't have anything. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, was the one that wanted me to deliver the message. No, I will find them. Good. So, three blessings, Sarah. I did deliver the coded message. Has Deviathir given you a response to my patron's message? Yes, here it is. Thank you, Shinwell. I will deliver this message to my patron, Master Arian. Please take this courier fee of 500 drakes. I like that. Da da da. Journal has been updated. I don't think you're gonna have more chores. Yes, you do. They each have two of them, basically, right? The Telveni Apothecary in Telvos is running out of cure blight potions since my patron, Master Arian, is responsible for Telvos in a sense. He has asked me to find someone to deliver a cure blight potion. Sure. Telvos, you say. That's quite good actually because Telvos, we want to go back to Nushleft and that's like directly across. There, if there is no key for them, you can lead them to a place for which you do have a key and free them there. Oh, I see. It is true that with a uh, with a dialogue to free them, it wants the key the key of the location. And Melian teleport. Yeah, you just uh, put them put them in a follow, and then they'll just go with you. But all these are a little too hacky. They can be useful if stuck, but they're a little too hacky. Dung, dung, dung. Did you give me the potion? And Dylan Delvos is the apothecary you should speak with. Get three potions of cure blight and deliver them to him if you'll have to buy them from one of the vendors. 
Okay, so you're not giving me the potions. That's cheating. Patron. My patron, Master Arian, is quite open-minded. You might ask him. If Arian becomes your patron, I can stop being Arian's mouth here on the council. Perhaps I can get some research on my own dawn. Fair enough. He seems to be the more, the more likely candidate, right? It is Beth's fault. Agreed, agreed. Just like... Just like you can make a fortune with potions, uh, especially if you go with fortify intelligence, make potions, da 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 It is. It's not. But it's still an exploit. It's an exploit. It's not a cheat. It's an exploit. And I'm not saying you shouldn't use them. I'm saying if I can avoid it, I won't. That's it. Most of the mods that edit slavery add ways to free slave that originally didn't have keys. There's a quite a few, quite a few of them. I think I'm done here, guys. Ah, and I'm still levitating. Would you look at that? Actually, I'm thinking to have frost wind. Uh, it might be, it might be, sorry, quite interesting to add a lot of things to the camp. Delighted with my new year, I will be able to do some good work there. I'm even considering adding to my little camp. Yes, maybe not the fences. And uh, particular, thank you so much for the follow. So nice to have you here. Um, I hope you'll enjoy more wind because that's um. Not pretty much all we do, but that's a lot of what we do. Right. Tell Vos. Tell Vos, then Vos. But before we should get some potions. I think that's a decent sky. That's a AOF sky and I like it. I really like the, the overcast look. I was just looking at dynamic difficulty. You can edit the difficulty of specific region. Wow. Ah, Null Casket is on a roll, like the, the six, seven, eight mods that he's released this month. They're just pretty amazing, to be honest. The only one I was not able to test really was the memory monitor, because it only shows when, you know, <laughs> your memory is going down. May not need to do my enemy balance patch. No, probably not. You can really, with the like the, the suit of mods, the suite, you can really, really customize your game and do something that you find balancing. <laughs> Don't mind me. What? Did I hear? Ah, a bat. Uh, no problem, Viticula. I'm happy to, to have lurkers as well as chatters. You dead? Okay. No, not dead. Wow, that bat just uh, played tricks on my mind. The game gives you nostalgia. For me, it doesn't give me nostalgia because I never really stopped playing it, but I totally get what you're saying. Hydrate, but I'm out of. I can spare a few moments. That's it. No more latte, no more water. Cancel the stream. Okay, there should be a, a, an alchemist or apothecary not too far. I went too far, that's what happened. And by the way, we need to go to Vivek and we need to join the Morag Tongue. This character really, really believes in the strong tradition of the Dumbnose and the Morag Tongue is one of those. 
Yes. The guard is going to tell me to get out because it's night, I think. Because she's not here. Hmm. Fligerty made an interesting mod for Reekling Raiders. If you hit them hard enough, they get knocked apart and become Reekling and Bristleback. Um, I, I, had, I knew of that mod. I didn't know it was... Fligerty, actually. actually, and I do like the bristleback on their own. They're not aggressive. It's just the <laughs> jaded gamer. <laughs> I see you discovered the rigged command. Oh well, at least you get a refund there. Um, I like the mod. I haven't tried it though. Have you tested it, Prof? might not be ah uh, I don't remember seeing it on um, on Fligerty's page why are we playing Neb? I mean I'm okay with playing Neb but why it's so groovy right I think I'll have to come back when she's uh, home to sell me something you don't know <laughs> That's no reason. You you don't need a reason. You don't really need a reason to blame Nev. It's just uh, it's just something that we do. Could she be at Farah's Hall? Is that Farah's Hall? Maybe she's there. Um. Oh wow. Yes, it's a very busy place. What was the name? I'm listening. So what's this about? Go ahead. You I'm may listening. speak. Go ahead. You sell spoons that aren't here. Let me sell you rubbish stuff that I don't need. No, I keep the buttons though. Price is on great, but come on. There we go. Let's have a look downstairs. Uh, yes, it is true. You know, they were like the some of the very first mod for Morrowind Script Extender, and my guess, and that really is just a guess, not even an educated one. His mods were written for the very first mo version of version, sorry, of the Script Extender, and it might be where the the problems come from. Great fellow, summon clad fear, da da da, slowfall, toxic cloud, we don't do that. Bone lord could be nice, but that's just. Oh, we're quite rich though. Soul pinch. Yeah, not for me. It's mana user, alright. Oh. You may speak. This is really, really oh, quite busy around here, isn't it? Brilliant. We want to talk about slavery. Poor Brilliant is so short that it's kind of hard to talk to him. There we go. Hi there, Ashlander. Are you here to buy slaves? No. Slavery is quite legal in these parts, you know. Can I help you find someone in particular? Were you hoping for directions to service? Tell me about slavery, you horrible person. The Dark Elves have traditionally permitted enslavements of humans, orcs, Algonians, and Khajiit, and mistreatment of these races is not recognized as a crime, other than as a crime against property. Slavery is now practiced in Somerset Isle and Valenwood, and its practice is on the wane in Morrowind. By terms of the armistice, Morrowind defines its own laws and customs, and slavery remains legal. Slavery is uncommon in Redoran and Hlalu district, common in Telvanni, Indoril, and Dress. Indoril as well. Oh, wow. Eat a lot of Ashiams, and then you won't need to buy a toxic cloud spell. <laughs> I'm, I'm not going to try it, but... Um, I'm fairly certain that would work. Smoke Kuma. <laughs> Hell see this. Hello, Dr. Pantsman. I'm not touching Skuma um, because apparently the simple fact 
of having skooma in my inventory makes me an addict.